All right, so where we left off last time, you can see getting a mound down there. Oh, Dad just started the elevator. So I'm gonna start guiding some corn. All right, so you can see back there, it's full up to the rafters. Got a little pocket here. We can fill up. Then might be able to turn the chute around and fill up a pocket back there. But I'm not sure a whole nother wagon will fit up here. It's getting pretty tight and that's a pretty big wagon. Got dad hooked back up. Uh, I'm gonna go run up and feed the cows while he picks another load of ear corn. And I'll show you what we're feeding this ear corn to and what it looks like when we feed it to them. Well, this is a few of this year's crop of calves. Dingleberries calves. Uh, I just filled up two buckets and carried over to them rather than drive the whole tractor in here for three, four scoops. But I'm going to turn their water on. That waters both sides. There's the regular feedlot. These are in the little feedlot. Good looking calves. I'll get away from them that way. They'll all come up here and eat and not just the three red ones. That's peculiar. How come only the three red ones are up here? Dingleberry jeans must run strong in them. Drank their water down pretty good. See, once I left them alone, they all went up there and started eating. They don't get very much corn right now. You gotta work them up to it. You don't wanna just go from no corn to more corn than they can eat all at once. So that's why they only get the two five gallon buckets. I think there's 10 of them in there. So not very much, but it gets them used to it. These guys get almost 14 pounds of corn each per day and they're over there madder than can be because those guys, the little ones are eating and they don't have their food yet. So I'm gonna go fire up the 1086 and give them their food. All right, we got the 1086 over here on the feed wagon. You can see we brought over the John Deere 567 baler and put it away for the winter. Uh, like I say, 10's hooked up to the feed wagon now. Since we're using the 856 for ear corn, which is normally the feed wagon tractor. Let's see if it starts. Always a good starting tractor. Yep, you can see all good, healthy looking cattle. This is what the feed looks like. Ground up. If you're interested in the recipe we use, there's a whole bunch of videos on that. That's a good looking steer right there. Yep. Gotta get them fed. Then, don't forget to shut the gate. Because the cows will be not even on your farm by morning.
happy cows over there. I guess I gotta go shut their water off, so we'll see if they're happy. Here on the roof now. Gotta take this shoot off. Oh, I needed it for a couple, so it's very barely wired. Afraid of heights. I kind of like them. Yeah, it's windy up here. Hopefully, you guys aren't getting too much wind noise. Oh, one more, I think. Nope, I lied. There was two. Corn stock was hiding that one. Oh, that one was barely on there. All right, now I'll hop in there and pull that in. All right, so you can see I got a wire there and then a wire over here to make sure that doesn't fall down with the corn and plug up the hole. Elevator, we lowered it back down a little bit. We're gonna fill in this hole and then I might grab these and shoot some that way, just holding them if we need to we didn't get a big full load this time because we knew it was going to be tight up here but i told dad i was going to do the right thing and pop up out of the hole and throw ears of corn at him if i need them to stop so here we go well i don't know what you guys think but i'd say that's full shot corn down there it's filled up filled up all the way pretty high here i mean that's touching the ceiling so <coughs> yeah corn dust dad's pulling the a in over there so i'd say we're done filling the crib we just got a few wagons to fill we'll probably grind a couple loads out of them and then refill them again but crib is full for 2022 20, harvest you can see I went from outside down now that should be latched in yeah yep latched down that pin goes through a hole there and then this top has a lip that holds it up there so crib is full and locked up for the winter. Alright, I got the A hooked up to the elevator. I'm going to pull it away and then lower it down. Dad thought we were going to use the 856, but while he was gone, I just hooked the A up. So I'm glad it didn't pick up the butt, the end, the rear end of it. Now I'm going to sit there and crank this for the next five minutes because it's very slow and geared and get this all the way down.
definitely have to make sure you take some wide turns with this. Wide turns and make sure the back end of it's not sticking to where it's gonna hit a tree when it swings. There's just one turn up there that's a problem. After that, we're good. That one isn't a problem. That tree's just far enough away. Then out here, we're just in a field, so not much to hit it on. There goes Dad. All right, well, I forgot that we were going to fill it fill some wagons with it some of the bigger wagons that the ear corn picker can't fill so I was gonna pull it out there and then I had to back it up and bring it in here so that way we can get at it from both sides to fill the wagons but we're done now that was a slow shift wait till we get around this bend Always got to hit road gear in the hay. I mean, it's only 12 and a half miles an hour or whatever, but. There we go. Dad's coming after us. Turn wide. 